The Babadook is an Australian horror film first screened on January 17, 2014 at the Sandins Film Festival. It marks the debut as director and screenwriter of the actors Jennifer Kent. The film tells the story of Amelia, a widowed mother trying to get over the death of her husband while raising her troubled son Sam. The boy believes that there is a monster in the house that wants to harm them. When Sam finds a strange book titled Mr. Babadook on his bookshelf, he's sure it is the monster in the book that's stalking him. The unusual events that happen in the house go unnoticed by Amelia, who attributes them to her son's bad behavior. Sam continues to insist that the Babadook is real. Amelia, tired of the monster, decides to get rid of the book to put an end to the problem. But the strange reappearances of the book and the evil presence that she begins to feel around her make Amelia suspect that perhaps the Babadook is more real than she thinks. The Babadook is a creature with a pale face, bulging eyes, and a sinister grin with crooked teeth. He wears a top hat, a black coat, and has long, pointy-fingered hands. He appears after three loud bangs are heard and a creepy voice whispers, Baba, look, look, look. The Babadook may look like your typical closet monster horror movie, but he's actually packed with symbolism. And it's because Babadook isn't a demon or evil entity. He is the representation of the violent crisis that Amelia suffers when the date on which her husband died approaches, which coincides with his son Sam's birthday. During these episodes, she displays psychotic and abusive behavior towards her son. Her guilt makes Amelia believe the Babadook is an excuse for her behavior. Finally, Amelia will manage to face her demons and save her son from the Babadook. The monster has been described as a demonic representation of mental illness. The Babadook has won several awards in different categories, such as the Empire Award for Best Horror Film or the ACTA Award for Best Film, Original Screenplay and Direction, all of them in the year 2015. Later, the film continued to make people talk, and it is that in 2016, Netflix catalogued the film by mistake within the LGTBI category. The users of the platform echoed the error and the response was such that it immediately went viral. Social networks, especially Tumblr, were filled with memes that included the monster in scenes of LGTBI culture. This is how the monster can be found holding the multicolor flag, voguing, in a photo with the band Village People or even in a video entering as a contestant on RuPaul's Drag Race. Many people took seriously the consideration of the Babadook as an icon of LGTBI culture when debate began on social networks about the similarities between the monster and the collective. Even media such as Rolling Stones or The Guardian have dedicated articles to the Babadook as a symbol of gay pride. So if you come across the Babadook on the street in Pride Month, don't be afraid of it. He's probably celebrating his coming out of the closet. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. And if you want to see more Draw My Life videos, subscribe to our channel. See you in the next episode.